guys my name is Speaksy and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on how to build the shield in Ancient Evil in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies. Uh, I haven't really done one of these before but since I am becoming more interested in zombies and becoming more uh, having fun with zombies and stuff like that I'm starting to make more videos on them. But yeah, let's just cut all this shit and basically this video is uh, describing how to get all three shield parts and uh, where they are located. So the first part you want to get is the handle for the shield. Now this piece can be found in three different locations and both all three of those locations are right in this upper road section. So the first place you are going to want to get after I kill all these zombies because they are being a pain in the ass uh, will be... Oh, hold on... <laughs> So the first location will be on this little bit here. You will see it. You will just have to pick it up. You won't have to do anything. You, it will be right there. That That is where the first location will be. The second location will be on top of this rock right here. It's very easy to spot, to be honest. It just sticks out from the rest of them. It looks like leather and stuff like that. So it's a bit easier to see. This bit isn't that hard. Is This one isn't as easier. But you'll basically find it right on this cliff right here next to the waterfall that you can't access. So all you have to do, grab it, and then, yeah, hunt for the second part. Right, now this next part is a bit more tricky, and it doesn't require you to go around looking for it. Now this next part is basically... Oh, we won't... That, that's not the video yet. We're not in that video yet. But basically, the next shield part is having to kill the mini boss on this map. That four-legged arm thing that looks like it's from Ben 10. Except from instead of it being red, it's now orange. Uh, let me just grab one of these shotguns because I want to take it out quickly. Uh, I would recommend either getting one of the wonder weapons or a very good uh, like starting gun or SMG or something like that. So the first rod that you're going to find will be right in this section here. I'll pick it up and I'll this guy will spawn. And the second part will be right over in this section here. Right where this lamp is. They will always be on these white looking things with the golden uh, edges. And you always have to do is pick it up and then kill this big guy. So yeah, he does require a lot of things. So we're just going to pull out our specialist weapon. Which is also a very good way to destroy him. So yeah, this is sort of a video on how to destroy this guy as well. Uh, but yeah, just use your specialist weapon. Use any other powerful weapon you have. And uh, now she will speak to you, and yeah, that will be pack a punch. But we'll get into that in another video. So yeah, this guy will drop the second part. It'll be very easy to get if you know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, let's get into the third part. So the third part has, I think, confirmed three different locations that I know of right now, or two different locations. So the first location that I found it on will be right here, leaning against this statue right here. And the next one will be right where it is for me, which is over by this statue, sticking in the wall like there. So yeah, that was what that is two of the things. And um, yeah, that's so far what I know. Uh, if you guys find any other locations for the sword, let me know in the comments because I'm always, always trying to improve my videos and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys will help me out with that one. So those are the two of the locations that I know of so far. To build the shield, all you have to do is go over to this crafting station, hold square to build, and there you go. You have the Apollo's wield. In my opinion, this is one of the best shields that we've ever had, mainly because of the spear. This spear is very good uh, at rounds like between 20. Uh, between 5 to 20 because it can just take the man in one shot. It's very good for getting out of uh, people's way. And if you use Victorious Tortoise, it is even better because it means you won't get hit from anywhere. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're brand new. I'm going to be streaming more Ancient Evil tonight. I don't know if I want to do another high round or just play the map for fun. I think I might just do a play the map for fun because last night I was playing for 9.5 hours. Got to around 64 or 5. I can't remember. And uh, yeah, it was hella fun, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And uh, if this guide was helpful, then let me know in the comments or anything else you want me to make videos on. I will be having videos on uh, the Pack-A-Punch tutorial uh, and one of the Wonder Weapons and how to upgrade them. And uh, I'm going to have another uh, video on how to do a high round strategy that I know of because that is the easiest way. Yeah, a lot of people want to know how to get high rounds on this map, and I know one strategy, and I and it worked for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.